If you wanted to make Frankenstein's monster in real life, how would you do it scientifically? Well, we need two things. A corpse that we can reanimate, <laughs> and a spark of electricity. Let's start with the body. So imagine that a body is like a piece of celery. So when it's alive, it's lovely and fresh and vibrant. But when we stop breathing and our heart stops beating, our cells don't get that fresh oxygen and nutrients that they need. And so then the cells die and the body starts to decompose just like this piece of celery. But what if you tried to freeze the body in order to keep it fresh? Well, that introduces a new problem. So as we can see here on this celery, there are ice crystals that form and these ice crystals actually damage the cells so that when you defrost the frozen body you get this liquidy gloopy mess and that's why the corpse doesn't work out but what about the spark of electricity I mean we can bring people back with defibrillators right well that's not technically true so when you're having a medical emergency and you need defibrillation you're unconscious and you're not breathing and you don't have a pulse so you look dead but in actuality you have a chaotic and irregular heartbeat and the defibrillator hopes to send a pulse through your body to return your heart back to its normal rhythm if you were actually flatlining it wouldn't work so sadly my new boyfriend's gonna have to wait. 